What's up guys, Canada here. Today we're talking about types of road bikes because I'm getting so many emails on should I go for Fuji Altamira or Fuji Roubaix or should I go for Cannondale Cat 12 or Cannondale Cat 8 and what's the difference between sportive bike and the entry-level bike and so on and so on. Uh, it can be confusing because we're getting more and more types uh, of different road bikes which is really awesome because we can really make a right choice for us uh, but to make that decision is not always that uh, simple. So I'm gonna just break down for you the main types of road bicycles uh, for you. Let's start uh, just from using this, uh, this uh, Canyon website because this will just give you the overview of what's happening here. We are starting with this one, Ultimate. So that's the road bike. Uh, this is a super light, super stiff road bike. That's the kind of the road bike that uh, that's winning um, all like Grand Tours. So this will be a super racing bike for the competition, right? Now, from this kind of, uh, of a bike, we can go for Aero, which will still be made, uh, as you can see here, made for racing, but uh, not as light, but more aerodynamic. Or you can go from this uh, type of bike uh, to the other direction, which is Comfort. An endurance bike, more comfortable bike, doesn't mean that, that that would be only the entry level bike and I'm gonna explain that to you. Of course we'll have also the cyclocross bikes which is much much easier now to, um, uh, to understand what kind of bike this is and of course we have a triathlon bikes, a different type of bike that's when you go against the clock. But here we have once more. Uh, super like racing light and stiff bicycle uh, then you can go for more aero and more comfort and let's go for different websites as for example Cannondale shows that very very clearly we go for road and then we have elite road endurance road triathlon and cyclocross so triathlon and cyclocross that's that's easy triathlon against the clock aero bars on your bike just you know going by yourself cyclocross that's just the kind of, uh, of, um, of racing we could go for. And then elite and endurance road. Elite road, okay. All the guys that are um, competing in now in Tour de France, for, for example, will be going for Super 6 Evo High Mode. So Super 6, that will be the kind of the bike uh, for racing. It is super light, super stiff, not super aerodynamic, uh, but it's made for really like making time um, not only up the hills but for all the days for for those for those long tours like uh, Tour de France uh, when we go back here we have of course uh, different uh, materials used for the bike so we will have also Super 6 EVO not high modules but then we have Cut 12 which is aluminum version of this super racing machine and CAD 8 and this CAD 8 would be actually more like the endurance bike even though it's uh, among the elite road for Cannondale CAD 8 will have different geometry and will be more neutral or maybe even more comfortable than, um, than CAD 12 which is made of aluminum but made for racing this one will have longer uh, head tube more upright position but still, you can just, you know, try to start doing some trainings and maybe some competition on CAD 8, that's okay. So this is the Elite Road uh, bikes. Now if we go back to Road, we have also Endurance Road. It doesn't mean necessarily mean the entry-level bike. We have uh, Synapse here, or Synapse. Uh, Synapse Carbon and Synapse, uh, Synapse uh, Alloy and now Synapse Carbon will be really made for comfort so um, this one will, uh, will be designed for absorbing as many bumps as possible and sound vibrations and it can be used for those riders who want to go for comfort but also it can be used by racing um, riders going for some classics like uh, like Paris-Roubaix and so on. You can see very nice explain, explanation here on the Synapse and um, uh, some uh, uh, classics in the spring by Sebastian Langeveld. So you can find nice information here. Being uh, called endurance road does not necessarily mean the entry-level bike. 
Um, the Synapse, I would say the Synapse, the Alloy version would be the entry level bike. It will have also comfortable position and um, maybe not so high, high level components. Uh, those bikes will often also have um, be, be prepared for some for some racks for some um, anything that you would like to mount on your bike uh, when going in the rain and maybe also mounting assembling some uh, bags to your to your bicycle. So this will be more versatile. All right, that's what uh, what Cannondale shows us. So there is one more type uh, called by Cannondale. A new road so this will be a gravel bike that's one more type it will be like fast on the road and will also give you the chance to go uh, just off the tarmac so that's it Cannondale uh, would also give them the uh, front suspension fox so, so that's just one of a kind bike uh, but then when we go for uh, Merida bikes it will also be kind of uh, kind of informative here uh, we have uh, chosen road and fitness and now we have uh, CX which is cyclocross then fitness road comfort road race and TT triathlon triathlon I explained that to you let's just mark road race we'll have two types here just as uh, just as uh, Canyon shows us for racing on the road you will have Merida Reacto which is more aero oriented and Merida Scultura which is more a uh, lightweight oriented bike and of course those uh, more aero will be more will have more aggressive um, geometry so not that comfy as Scultura that's why most of the uh, competing guys would go for Scultura though Reacto looks just awesome all right, and then let's go for road comfort. Uh, I will unmark this one. Um, all right, road comfort has Merida Ride, and Merida Ride is actually the entry level bike. So once more, more comfortable, more upright position, longer head tube, uh, usually also wider tires, which really does a lot for the comfort. But as for right, we can even go down to or up to right Team E, which is like super awesome machine. And you can also be racing on this one uh, during some spring classics. So uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be uh, just the entry level bike as the range goes from really entry level sportive bike to uh, racing comfortable machine for some uh, bumpy roads. Uh, all right now Fuji bikes this one is the most tricky on, in terms of the website to find out what's going on here we have competition and endurance I clicked competition we have the SL model then we have transonic then we have Altamira and Supreme and Roubaix so basically I'm gonna also show you the range of Fuji in the future but basically SL that's the racing machine super light super stiff Transonic, uh, Transonic is more aero oriented just as um, Merida uh, Reactor is. Then we have Altamira which is also a racing machine but more neutral position on this one than the SL model. And then you have um, Supreme which will be for women's, racing women's and the uh, Roubaix which is the aluminum bike uh, made for racing so you can just start doing some races on this aluminum Fuji uh, Roubaix bike. Then if you go for endurance series, we have Grand Fondo, which is once more super awesome, just like Canada Synapse, for example, comfortable um, absorbing some bumps um, bike. And you can be doing Grand Fondos on this one, for example. And when we go down the range, uh, we have Sportive, and it will be actually this Sportive bike. So quite fast on the road but as you can see super long head tube so much more upright position very comfortable position uh, super nice uh, entry level bike sorry for saying super that often but but those bikes are really uh, awesome and then uh, finest will be once more the endurance women's um, range of the bike so that's it uh, for, for these ranges and just uh, to, uh, to conclude here, Cervelo, very nice bikes, once more. We have triathlon bike, we have track bikes as well and then aero road, endurance road and classic road. Classic road, 
classic racing machines, endurance road, much more comfy than a classic, but you can still be racing on this one, and aero road, more aero oriented racing machines. Uh, so if we just click on those S series, uh, you will see super aerodynamic uh, frame set, but with uh, just uh, drop bar, not the aero bar. So if you're, if you're gonna go for speed, really speed, some flat uh, maybe uh, races and you don't need that, that um, so much lightweight of a frame, it will be light but not as light as this uh, racing machine. Uh, so you can just go for this one uh, and as for, for uh, lightweight you have R-series which looks differently. Uh, it will not be as aerodynamic but it will be much more light and just like more classic racing machine. I hope guys uh, that it was helpful for you. Uh, give me some thumbs up and some comments in the comment section below if you have some further questions. Uh, I'm going to be breaking down ranges of different uh, bike manufacturers. Let me know which one would you like to see and we are really getting close to uh, growing this channel and the Polish one which is Shy Bike so that we'll be able to actually buy and test some, some um, bikes and components, not only showing you uh, those on those websites here, uh, but it was, it was still quite, uh, quite, um, quite exciting to show you all these bikes. Once more, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.